Today we're going to investigate a different problem with the post correspondence problem. So we showed before that this problem is undecidable in its general sense, but we're going to look at a decidable variant of it. So the problem, the post correspondence problem, is you're given these set of tiles, and you can pick as many of each of these tiles as you want, and you want to find a match, which means that if you read, let me just draw it out. So if I have, I pick a set of tiles and I put them in a specific order. So we have a top and a bottom string. The, the red part is the top, the blue part is the bottom. And if I read across the tops from left to right, uh, it should equal the bottom red also left to right. And this problem was shown to be undecidable in our previous video. Now I want to restrict the problem in that there's only one character. Okay, so uh, the tops and bottoms could be any length. So let's say that we have something like this, and everything is an A. Oops. So everything is an A here. So we have the C and this B go away. I'm going to change those to A's. And this last C I'm also going to change to an A. So this is what we're going to call the simple uh, post-correspondence problem because there's only one character. And I want to convince you that this variant is decidable. And it's actually pretty reasonable uh, how you would actually prove this. It's actually really easy. So we break it up into cases. So case one what if the lengths of the tops of the... Uh, actually, let, let's do it even this way. Suppose that we have the tile which corresponds to A over A. Or, or really that the length of the top is equal to the length of the bottom. Well, I can just pick that tile and we're done. <laughs> because the top matches the bottom. So uh, this is a match. Uh, what about case two, where uh, all the top lengths bigger than the bottom lengths? Okay, so what if we had just had, uh, let's say, just uh, this tile only, just this tile? Well, if I try to pick it, it's going to be longer on the bottom than, than the top. Actually, in this case, it should be this tile, my mistake. So the top lengths are longer than the bottom lengths, which means that if I try to pick this tile, then I'm never going to have the bottom catch up with the top ever again. And so uh, there will never be a match in this case. So no match ever because there's only one character and all of the tiles have their top length longer than the bottom length. And then case three is all the bottom lengths are bigger than the top lengths. Then we get exactly the same conclusion, so no match. So then the only possibility otherwise is that we have one tile that has the top bigger than the bottom and another one where the bottom is bigger than the top. So let's say that we have, oops, let's do it this way, have tiles, and I'll do them in white for contrast. So let's say we ha have A to the K, A to the L on the bottom, where K is bigger than L. So this one, the top is bigger than the bottom. And here, what if we have uh, A to the M and A to the N, where uh, n is bigger than m. So here we have the length of the, um, the bottom is bigger than the top. Well, I claim that there is a match. So the, the idea is look at the difference. So the difference for the, for the top compared to the bottom is k minus l, and for here is m minus n, okay? So let's say that uh, this number is A here, and this number is B. 
Well, then all that we need to do for a match, so the match is going to be pick uh, A occurrences of the first tile. Oh, 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 sorry, of the second tile. That's what I meant, second tile. And B occurrences of the first tile. And I claim that that's a match. Because if you think about it, if we pick A occurrences of the second tile, this one right here, that means that the bottom is going to be, uh, is going to be longer at this point by A occurrences times B of them for, actually I should use um, different letters. Let me use different letters. So let's call this X to call this one Y. So I'm going to pick uh, X occurrences of the second tile and Y of the first. So, because I used A here. So I claim this is a match. So the second tile is, is lagging behind by Y A's every time I pick it. So I'm going to have Y times X number of A's more on the bottom than the top. And if we pick Y occurrences of the first tile, it's going to catch up by X A's every time and I pick Y of them. So I get X times Y. So minus X Y plus xy equals zero, and then therefore we have a match at that point. And so this problem is decidable because all that we need to do is to look at each one of these cases and figure out which one we're in. So this is just scanning through the tiles, that's easy. This is scanning through the tiles, scanning through the tiles, and again, scanning through the tiles, and there's only a finite number of occurrences of each tile to actually pick. And so this problem is decidable as a result. So um, I'll show you a, um, an open problem for this, for the post-correspondence problem. So it turns out to be decidable if the size of the alphabet is at most two we showed where the size of the alphabet is one. It turns out that it's also decidable for two characters. Um, it turns out to be undecidable if the size of the alphabet is at least five. So it turns out that there's a set of tiles with five different characters that is undecidable. The, the, the corresponding problem is uh, undecidable, but it's open when the size of the alphabet is between three and four. And so we, no one knows whether or not the, the problem for three characters or four characters is undecidable or not. It's decidable if you have two characters or fewer, it's a complicated proof. And it's undecidable if you have more than five characters, again, a complicated proof. But we don't know the answer for these two. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. We have no idea. So hopefully that was interesting. Leave your thoughts about the simple uh, post-correspondence problem and this open problem in the comments down below. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.